Los Angeles Police Lieutenant Marion Cobretti, aka Cobra, is the perfect cure for the disease that is crime in the city. He's a specialist that breaks down the doors other cops either can't or don't want to. And he's just been put on the trail of an anarchistic cult that calls themselves the New World and has murdered at least 16 people in just under a month. The only witness to their most recent kill is a scared model, and Cobra has been assigned to protect her. You can pretty much guess how the rest of the movie goes from here. Cobra is one of those 80s action movies that you really can't put too much thought into or you're not going to have any fun. It's not really surprising to me given the fact that it's a Stallone movie. Much like with the first Blood movie, Stallone has taken a known novel, this time Paula Gosling's Fair Game, and rewrote it to make it into his own film and created his own character with Cobretti. Which is a good thing, because I'd rather watch Stallone blowing psychos away with a laser-mounted SMG and a pearl-handled Colt 45, as opposed to some dull-ass thriller where there's a girl, and she's on the run from some international hitman, and she doesn't know why, and while on the run, she falls in love with a protector who's an ex-cop and a Vietnam veteran, and bleh! Now that's not to say I don't like thrillers, but a lot of them that I've seen are just not done well. At least with this film, there is a little bit of the girl getting the hots for Cobra. The girl, by the way, played by future ex-Mrs. Stallone, Bridget Nielsen. But it comes and goes so quickly that I have to thank Sly and George Cosmatos for doing their best to craft together a uh, somewhat of a thriller, mostly an action flick kind of movie, and not focusing on the romance between the two characters. And much like with Rambo First Blood Part 2, director Cosmatos utilizes quick cutting, stunts that were shot with multiple camera angles, and Sly's abilities both as an actor and as an action man to craft together a small fiesta for action fanboys. Unlike First Blood Part 2, however, the action feels very restrained. Which is weird both given the time that Cobra was released and considering this is a Stallone movie. Actually, the action seems less like a big-budgeted Stallone vehicle and more like a low-budget indie flick. It actually surprises me that this film was shot on $60 million, considering you could probably do it for $6 million. Still, it works to keep the movie from going overboard, and I've seen a number of action flicks that try too hard to be as over-the-top as possible and just end up being hokey to the borderline of uh, being unwatchable. With Cobra, the action is over the top, but not to the level of excessive. Now, one little fact, that, fun fact I must point out in, for this film is the presence of two actors, both cop characters, who had appeared together in the original Dirty Harry film. Rainy Santoni. Remember in Dirty Harry when Rainy Santoni played Clint Eastwood's new partner, Chico Gonzalez, who ends up leaving the police force to teach college? Well, this time, Santoni plays... Da -da 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 -da. Cobra's partner, Sergeant Gonzalez. You know, when this is over, I like to celebrate by punching a hole in Monty's chest. You know what the trouble with you is? You're too violent. Andy Robinson. Remember in Dirty Harry when he played the psychopathic Scorpio killer? In Cobra, not only is he a cop this time around, but he's one of those assholes that you always see in cop movies that are like, This one ain't about proper procedure and hate on the one cop who actually gets things done. Come on, let's face it. He doesn't give a rat's ass for this girl. She's just another piece of live bait, so King Cabretti here can cut a new notch. You've already caused a lot of people to die. How about letting her live? <laughs> The irony is not lost on me. He's a psycho! So for some good, mindless, popcorn, big gulp fun that you can only get from an action film icon like Stallone, rent, stream, buy, watch, Cobra.
Die! 